why black men make dating so difficult. They make it- Hi, I have an answer, and it's simply because they don't have money. So I've been thinking- We don't have any money. Cool, let's, let's look at it. Wealth and income are two components of economic well-being. Income is a flow of money that comes in from an employment, social security, or other sources, yet wealth consists of assets, you know, homes, cash, businesses, vehicles, minus debt, credit cards, student loans, mortgages, or starting a business. Research shows the racial gap, the racial wealth gap is even larger than the income gap. But wealth is not equally accessible. Black households have just 15% of the wealth of white households. And this has not changed much over time for black women. The gap is also stark. Let's go. Similarly, black women earn less than white people despite educational attainment. For example, black women without a high school diploma earn 61% of the medium white men's wages. What did I tell y'all? I, I made videos plenty of times telling y'all that in the 90s, Brad had uh, Keisha working, you know, for 30,000 as CEOs. 30,000, 30, 33,000. They were CEOs working for like 30 to 30, 40,000 tops. Brad making 90,000. Yet they were looking down at plumbers. They were looking down at black men that were construction workers. And for the part with uh, passing down uh, wealth through uh, buying homes and stuff like that, I told you about that. I said, listen, if you don't want to be under the leadership of black men, it's up to you to pass down wealth to the children. Oh, but you can't because you're broke. We all went to similar schools. We all have similar educational backgrounds. We all work similar jobs. Um, for bar for bar, we would say we would live very similar lives, except I just oscillate in primarily black spaces and they oscillate in primarily white spaces. Um, just say you go back and said, forth. Yeah, oscillate. Just say you go back and forth. They try, they stay... I'm telling you, they try their best to sound educated. When all you, all you have to say is go back and forth. They try their best to sound educated. They try their best. You the one have an issue with it, and why? Let's get to that. Let's get to that. I think it's because white people, but specifically white also men, are raised in the way that they have generational wealth, but a generational wealth mindset, meaning that they saw their parents get paired off and married, you know, within their 20s. They have grandma's ring and heirlooms. They have a house that they know that they will inherit. They have a mindset knowing that even if they, um, even if they lose their job at Goldman Sachs or in tech. Yeah, because that's where Brad mostly works at, in Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Listen here, short bus. You know, uh, you were supposed to be under the leadership of black men and you were supposed to get married in your 20s this is all you this is all you're doing get with a black woman you're building by yourself i want to give all the praises and the honor to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem recha haqwadash and double honors to the elder apostles and the bishops of great millstone honors as well to you brethren your fellow believers of this faith this truth and uh, that includes your few sisters as well, sincere ones. Shalom to the elect. So anyway, I ran across this video. Uh, I'll try to keep it short. I always say that. But hey, it's the spirit. It's the Blackout channel, right? And it's Jake. He's going in on the black woman, Eve. And uh, I'll do a short commentary, read a couple of scriptures, and go on from there. But anyway, the black woman, right, Eve as we say when i say eve the black woman and that includes some of the hispanics and natives and even some of the um the strangers the one that look may look like other nations they they hopping on board with that but mainly eve these right here man the one that's twisting her lip to sound caucasian that type right <laughs> that type uh they've put it out in the whole community that they're just about money how can anybody take somebody like that serious i don't know i don't know how any other nation is able to deal with it because when they come by our camp 
And they have, uh, you might see Eve with, with Edom or maybe look like Edom. Could be Jake too. And they'll look like s some weirdos, right? <laughs> I'm like, damn, if you're going to go there, go and, and do halfway decent. But, you know, when it comes to us, it don't matter. It's all about happiness for us. But you see with Eve, it's about that money. And everybody knows it. I don't know what happened when they grew up. All the little girls were taught they were beautiful, they were golden. You had the Brother Polites in the black conscious community telling them they were gods and queens, right? Which you look up the word queen for yourself in all online etymology, you'll see what that means. <laughs> and they have actually become queens. But this woman here with these big glasses trying to show that she's smart. And then she'll complain about the black men, her and the Cynthia G, um, you know, th that type of woman. I guess that's the best way I could say it. The head, one of the heads of the destruction of, of the black woman in the community. They'll complain about black men being broke. They'll complain about black men being bums, black men being this and a black men being that. But they're the ones that raised them. This is a generational thing. When you see those little young men out there with their pants hanging down, with fruit of the loop drawers, fruit of the loom drawers on, with Mickey Mouse on them, right, with their pants hanging down to their knees, no shirt and a squeegee in their hand and a blunt behind their ear, yep, you know who you can thank who set that all up, who bred them. Then they grow up and go to marry a woman that's kind of like their mother, right? who wants to uh, take care of, of them, and then they get mad at the man and call him broke when he can't provide when he doesn't do what she wants. You know how that go, man. I know this for a fact, because my, you know, my sons was raised partially by their mother, and when they came with me, I was like, what the hell is going on? You know? You could see... Uh, they was lacking the capability to do anything. You can't tie the trash bag. You can't do a damn thing. And these are the men that they're going to raise to set up to go out there in the world and be with a woman that's going to treat them like a slave and like trash. That's why these men walk around with their heads down. And these elites know it. But you got different breeds of men that are waking up now. In the truth and out of the truth. But at the end of the day, it's all about the elect. Anyway, uh, 1 John 2 and 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man or woman love the world, the love of the Father is not in them. And you must understand that a lot of these, um, this is expected, that's women. They, all women want to be taken care of. We understand that. It's all about the money anyway, for the most part. But they're carnally, right, uh, infused with wanting wealth this woman will twist her lips try to sound white all she wants and they're looking at her like she's crazy you'll go in these job establishments they'll complain about equal rights there's not enough women with positions and jobs you go in any medical clinic any health care facility it ain't nothing but women working in there you know who they working under some heathen man or white man right is his office but they'll be sitting in the chair. So what does this do psychologically? They look at other men, and if they ain't got what, what their leaders got, their, their lovers, then you're nothing. You're low level to these women, man. And they don't understand the bigger picture of the funding and how it was set up and put them in place to be in that position. Right? To destroy you. Feminism is designed to do what? destroy you yeah you might have been put over the man yeah you might have credentials you might have a doctrine's degree but you do realize that was designed to destroy you your whole purpose on this planet was not to be some damn doctor if that's what you choose to be but your main purpose was to have a husband and procreate that's your main purpose they wait until they're 50 to go lay down and have a child. They didn't reckon their years, right? They done went to the parent plan thing like 20 times in the last two years. 
No wonder your shit is all messed up. Anyway, there's a lot I can't say in this video. First Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. What did Eve do? Eve get, took the bag long time ago, man, when she was beguiled by the serpent. Let's call it, put it on the table. Eve was beguiled long time ago. Eve has been continuing to be, uh, get beguiled. And the men who follow under him support it. You know the biggest uh, feminists are the men. Right? We see these men come by the camp. They'll have those baby straps on. And, and if they're a big man, like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, six, 280 pounds, they'll get the heavy-duty strap. Look like a reverse book bag. <laughs> and they'll, they'll slide the baby down in the front like a big kangaroo. Right? <laughs> and a woman will walk in front of them and say, hurry up, come on, you late. Right? And they're running things. But then if they get attacked, he now has the baby. He can't do nothing. She's supposed to step up and now protect him. And because she can't, guess who she's going to blame? She's going to blame that man that's holding that reverse book bag with that baby shoved down in the front of him like a big-ass kangaroo, man. <laughs> we witnessed that. That's what it is. You can forget about Jake, man. But you know who raised them? That's my whole point. They raised them to be servants to other women. Yeah, a woman will tell you, you know, I raised them to be a man. No, you raised them to be a servant. I raised them strong. I made a tough, strong young man. Yeah, yeah you did all right. At least that's what you think. Let's go to Proverbs uh, 23 and 5. And there's a reason why I'm getting this scripture. I'll try to make this short. Uh, I don't even know where I'm at on here. So many translations. It says, Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward the heavens. Toward heaven. Yeah, because they get those jobs. Studies have shown they're not making like they think they're making. We understand the taxation, but that's another part. I'm not going to mention that. Um, but, you know, they, the first thing they get, because they're not good budgeters like the old school women, but the first thing they get, they get their job. And the first thing they do is need is reliable transportation, right? And, of course, with the reliable transportation, they're not going to get a cheap car. They're going to get more than what they can afford. Then they're going to get a very expensive phone that's 500 to to $1,000, more than likely, right? Let's not forget the, the attire, right? Let's not forget the attire and the clothing and the hair and the weave and the nails and the makeup, which makeup means to cover something that is used up, by the way. And most importantly, their home. So they're going to try to live close to their means or above their means and then when emergencies happen, they get angry. They're going to go down to child support. They're going to get money from, and, and the government will help them further oppress the father. They're going to go down and get child support. They're going to use that money for more weaves, for more, for more uh, whatever she wants to go out with a sorry Jake, go broke again, and the cycle will keep continuing. And they will keep blaming men for them being broke. If you're so independent, first of all, a woman was never meant to be independent. Right? Let's get that in Genesis. Let's go that back to Genesis, the second chapter. And about the second verse, women was never meant to be independent. Oh, in this society, they make them that way. Of course. You sit in a nice, comfortable air conditioning building, 200 degrees outside, 110 degrees outside, Still complaining about it being hot and you in air conditioning. Yeah, I witnessed that too. Actually today. You know, they complain it's hot. It's hot outside. It's just hot all over. And it's cold as hell in the building. What the hell are you complaining about? But meanwhile, we ride by the construction workers, the painters, the trash men, and everything else. And you don't hear them complain. Anyway, Genesis 2 and 18. It says, and the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. Right? So, we're going to go to Titus 
I mean, uh, where are we at? Proverbs 24 and 9. Proverbs 24 and 9. I went there. You know, Deuteronomy 28. It says, I will make thee a uh, 28 and 36, I think. I'll make thee a proverb and a byword and an astonishment among all people. And when you go into the lexicon on that, the Strong's, yeah, here we go. It means the Shannon, something pointed, a byword or a taunt. Right? A taunt. So you kind of look at it and you see a broken people. So in those parties, when they have those on the 15th floor and they have those extra parties when when uh, when the, uh, the week is over and they're drinking and they're partying, what do you think is going on up there to the, when it comes to their lovers, man? And some of you Jakes are married to them. Yeah, what do you think? The bottom line is the most high say he's going to curse us, right? And your Eve, your Eve, you, you think you love, she can never fully respect you until you get to the kingdom. When your face is on that money, right? When you own the world, then you would be respected. And this is why we, you can't get but so mad at the end of the day. What do you expect from these Eves? Now you expect them to roll with us because we're in hell too. But nah, when, when Edom set them up, hooked them up, set them up straight, believe it or not, they're more unhappier now than they was when they were broke. Because when they was broke, they were relying on men to help take care of them. Goes back to taunt. It says to make a smart reply, a mocking, uh, to with mocking, a reproach in a sarcastic way. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, what do you think these eaves are doing, man, in those those nighttime parties? See, the art imitates life. This is you know, psychologically, white Jesus, white Christianity, white history, right? Racism and everything else has forced Eve to believe or let me say this to assert herself to the serpent and forced her or let me say, persuaded her, beguiled her, right, to believe she's even better than us now. Look at us. A lot of us getting locked up. You know, even if we do got a good job, they understand who's paying us. That's why your rappers and your, your men with great money, that's why they, Sugar Shane Mosley is a great boxer, retired, and a woman took him to court to take his belt that he fought for, and guess who? Guess what? Edom helped afflict him, right? And took his belt and gave it to his wife in a divorce. So any of you Jake see this stuff and you're still getting married in 2024, you are bugged out, you're crazy, and you deserve everything you get. Anyway, that's all I have on that Shalom.